Unicorns do exist. At least chubby ones. Let's meet the white rhino. What is it eating? Is that what it plays with? Zoe's adventures, fun while learning. First, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more adventures, those educational adventures with Zoe, and like this so we know to keep doing more. What is so unique about a chubby unicorn? Let's discover the white rhino. What makes a rhino a chubby unicorn? They are the second largest mammal in the world, and they have a solid keratin horn. The horns of these mammals consist of keratin, which is actually what our hair and nails are made of. And they continuously grow, and if it breaks away, it's just like our fingernails. It grows back. They depend on their sense of smell, and they have the widest set of nostrils of any land-based animal. Those parts of their brain that allow them to smell take up almost the whole thing. And you know what? They love to take daily mud baths just to stay cool. I really don't like bass, but rolling in the mud sounds kind of fun. Why are they called white rhinos? They're not white. The full name of the rhino is rhinoceros. It translates to nose horn. Kind of makes sense, right? Which is a combination of the Greek words rhino, meaning nose, and ceres, meaning horn. They're also known as square-lipped rhinoceroses, referring to the hairless square upper lip of the animal. White rhinos are believed to get their name due to a simple misunderstanding since the word white and their name is taken from the African's word for wide. The color of the body ranges from yellowish brown to slate gray. Not white at all. The white rhinos also have a noticeable hump on the back of its neck. Each of its four stumpy feet has three toes. A distinct broad straight mouth which is great for grazing and eating all that grass. Its ears can move separate and independently and pick up different sounds, but it depends mostly on its sense of smell. So why is it a chubby unicorn? Well, adults can weigh 1,800 to 2,500 kilos. White rhinos can live 45 to 50 years, and there's only about 18,000 that are still left. Nearly that entire population, as much as 98.8%, is concentrated within South Africa, Niambia, Zimbabwe, and Kenya. White rhinos are herbivores. I know, that's a big word, but that means they mostly feed on grass. So they eat leaves, branches, and fruits from trees and shrubs as well. They can survive four to five days without drinking water directly. Although, if they can, they'll drink it twice a day. And the zoos they provide enrichment for them, like this ginormous ball, it would completely smush me. The white rhinos are surprisingly fast. They can run up to 25 miles per hour for short periods. The white rhino was once on the verge of extinction, but it's been successfully saved. They're now protected. They were threatened by hunting for their horns, and of course, as most species, their natural habitat was being destroyed. White rhinos have a really cool relationship with several bird species, which actually feed on the insects and parasites that are present in their hide and on the backs. The horns of rhinos are really cool because they are used for self-defense. They actually live in groups of family members of about 14, and when they're threatened, they form a circle and protect the little ones. White rhinos have a rather small brain for their body ratio, but don't worry, that doesn't mean they're not smart. They have poor eyesight, but their acute sense of hearing and smell make up for it. And that's the white rhino, or the chubby unicorn. Thanks for watching another animal adventure with Zoe. Now check out these other two videos.